Hey, you beautiful queens, it's Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist, coming to you from my channel, The Holistic Boss. Thank you for coming back. And today's video, I am going to be making some cabbage patties. And the ingredients that I'm going to be using is a whole cabbage. I've already, I don't know why I have trouble with these videos sometimes. Uh, the video just went off. So, I've already chopped up a whole cabbage. I'm using a whole cabbage, which is boiling. It needs to boil for about seven to eight minutes. And the reason why I'm boiling that cabbage first is because I have to let it cool off for the rest of the cooking that I'm going to be doing. So I'm using a whole cabbage, a whole purple onion that I will chop up in a moment. And I'm going to use some chickpea flour that's made out of garbanzo beans. That's the only ingredient inside and it's also gluten free. For those of you who might be gluten free, this is a healthier type of um, flour and I'm going to use olive oil I'm going to use two soy free eggs also for these delicious oh and I'm going to also use some garlic I'm going to use some garlic tonight today tonight uh, so that's boiling let me turn it down so a little bit okay so now I am going to begin the rest of my prep right now and I'm going to use two eggs yeah I'm gonna use two eggs and I'm trying to think if I want to cut my onion first yeah Let's see if I want to cut my onion first so it's so many steps to this process so I'm um, going to cut up go ahead and cut up the onion right cut the onion it. So that can already be ready um, when I'm ready to put it in my next step. There's kind of, it's almost like five to six steps to making this um, cabbage, these cabbage patties. But I tell you, once they're done, they're so delicious. And if you miss a step or miss any of the preparation part, they're not, it's not going to be as good. So really why I'm cutting up these onions because they need to saute. They need to be sauteing. So it's like you got to have that done and like putting all the pieces to the puzzle together, right? So these are some of the things that you have to deal with when you want to transition from the conventional way of living to a healthier way of life, a healthier way of eating and feeling. But it's worth it. Every bit is worth it, your health. Okay, so I'm gonna chop, cut these up. Um, trying to peel some of this off, yeah. Looking at this onion. Okay. So I'm going to cut this up. I've got to stir this. I did put a little bit of, um, tiny bit of olive oil in my cabbage to allow it to just, you know, get a nice, beautiful cooking. And it brings a little color to the cabbage for me, some brightness, and it just cooks nicer, it has a nicer uh, texture. So once that, once the cabbage is done cooking, then I'm going to strain it and it's going to cool off, right, for the next step. I don't have to, you don't have to chop up your onions so small, but I'm doing it just because that's what I'm used to doing, you know. Um, so now I need to get my, you see all these steps, there's a lot of steps to prepping this process. I'm going to turn on my skillet so it can get hot. This is for sauteing, sauteing process, right, of the onion. That's hot. Okay, so let me finish cutting. And you can probably get away with using a half of an onion. 
And for this video, I might just do a half of an onion instead of a whole. And, and it depends. Usually, when I make these, I make about, it makes about four to six patties. And really, they are filling, filling, very filling. And so one patty, one, for me, I can eat one to two. Usually, I'll eat two, and I'm full for, for a minute, right? I'm full for a minute. So it just depends on your, your taste and your hunger. And again, if you're making it for your family, you want to adjust the ingredients accordingly, right? You want to adjust the ingredients accordingly. Because if you have a family of six and you only make six cabbage patties, that's not going to be enough. So adjust the ingredients accordingly. But for this video, I am doing one whole cabbage and uh, an onion. I think I might just do a half an onion. I don't think I need a whole onion. I'm going to do a half of an onion. I think that would be good enough for today. I can get the, the um, what I need from this one onion, half an onion rather. All this process, you gotta, you have to multitask. You know, you gotta make sure the cabbage is not cooking too much, and then you have to, you know, drain it so it can cool off, and it's gonna take some time to cool off, right? So it's just about ready, the cabbage, because again, you don't want it, you don't want the cabbage wilted, and you do not want it. Undone, uncooked. So I'll give it uh, another couple of minutes. Then I'll take it off and drain it. Drain it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to pour my olive oil in my skillet so I can get that kind of hot and then pour my, put my onions inside so I can saute my onions and my garlic, I put the garlic in at, at the end, kind of, because I don't want the garlic to um, get too, I don't want the garlic to get too cooked, rather, you know, because garlic has a tendency to burn easy, and I don't want my garlic burned. So I put my onions in there. I'm going to let that heat up for a minute, and then I'll put my onions in there. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to do my eggs. I'm going to add my eggs in the bowl. Two eggs. Add those two eggs. And I think it's time to So the two eggs, I have uh, I'm gonna add some salt to the eggs and then I will swish those eggs so they can cook or not cook. Um, Gotta add some salt. Still with me? I know this is this is kind of a longer um, uh, process cooking these these cabbage patties, but it's um it's worth it. Like I said, it's gonna taste good to the palate, and once it does that, then I will be. Happy. Okay, so I think the cabbage is ready to drain, strain. So I'm going to pour it in my strainer, and I'm going to let this cabbage cool off. It's going to take probably about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So 
you have to be quick with everything because, again, you have to pay attention to all the steps. I'm going to pour this so it is strained. Drain. Pour all the water out of here and let it uh, do what it does best. It's an arduous process, ladies. It really is. It's, it's kind of like, um, you know, you, you would go to great lengths to do what we want to do, right? To eat those healthy, beautiful, delicious meals. We can sit down. The hard part is cleaning up afterwards, right? The hard part, that's the hard part, it seems. Okay, so now the cabbage is sitting to where it can cool off, right? We're gonna let that cool off because we don't want hot fire cabbage, right? We don't want it hot. All right, so now let's see how the uh, fire is doing. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep it there. Keep it and turn this off. Too long for me. I have a lot of time. All right. So now let's um, mix up the eggs and the salt. I'm gonna mix up the eggs and the salt. Once we mix up the eggs and the salt, then we're gonna add. Right now, we're going to add the, um, the onions to the oil so the onions can marinate and get glazed over. You want it to be a beautiful glaze, the onions. And we're still letting the cabbage cool off because it needs to be cool before I add it to this egg mix. I have to add the cabbage to the egg mix. So while that is cooling off, actually I'm gonna add the rest of the onion because I I feel like it just needs the whole onion, so I'm gonna cut up the rest of the onion and add this to um, the skillet. Because normally I do, but for some reason, I when I looked at the onion, I thought maybe that's too much onion today. But no, I think on second thought, I'm gonna add a whole onion. So normally you do wanna add a whole onion, right? Um, you just kind of play it by eye, you know? But I'm, as I'm looking at this, it needs more uh, onion in there. So I want to make sure that we get all of that greatness sauteed together. Yes, so we're gonna add the rest of that. Still waiting on the cabbage to cool before I put it in my egg batter because that is the main ingredient, cabbage, right? The cabbage here is the main ingredient for, because this cabbage 
patties. Not cabbage patch patties, but cabbage patties. Cabbage patties, right? All right, so now I'm gonna chop up um, my garlic. I'm gonna mince it up a little bit. And I used, you know, uh, two cloves, two cloves of garlic. So as you can tell, when I make these meals, I'm always using uh, herbs and spices that's going to fight inflammation in the body. Um, when you have joint pain, normally that is inflammation built up in your body that needs to be released. And when you use herbs and spices during your cooking or your juicing, you will start to eliminate some of those joint pains because of the properties that's inside of, of the, um, the garlic and the onions and the herbs that you normally use, right? And having said that, I need to get my parsley because I'm going to use some parsley also for this. So that's still cooking. So I'm going to get some parsley. I'm going to cut up a few parsley uh, limbs. So now I'm going <clears> to <throat> add my garlic <clears throat> to my glazed um, purple onions to give it some more nice homemade strip flavor. Okay, I now I'm going to, my, my cabbage is almost cool enough, ready to go inside my bowl, my eggs and salt mixture. I chopped up some nice parsley leaves, fresh parsley leaves, beautiful. And I'm going to put that, once I do my mixture, mix up everything, I'm going to add these beautiful leaves to my batter. And by that time, my onions should be completely glazed and ready to add to the batter. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to squeeze out my broccoli, uh, broccoli, my cabbage. I use so many vegetables. I have a habit of saying broccoli, kale, cabbage, Brussels, all these things. So I'm going to squeeze out my cabbage and add it to my egg and salt mixture, right? So let's see, you can see the cabbage here. It's still kind of steamy a little bit, but it should be cool enough for me to wring it out. So I'm gonna wring it out. I'm gonna wring out the cabbage. You can see the water coming out. So I told you this was kind of an arduous process, a tedious process, but once it's done, it's done. And if I had to give this preparation time a time, it might take an hour to prep it, not to cook it, but to prep, right? So I'm placing that in my egg batter. Yeah, I have to add that all in. There's probably an easier way to do this, but I haven't found it yet. I haven't found that easy way yet. It's probably like I can find a, um, you know, a squeezer or something. Oh, got a piece of garlic in there. Didn't want that in there. Um, but for now, this is the easiest way for me. And just depends on how fast you go, but you want to make sure you squeeze out the water because you don't want to add water to the eggs, right? I'm going to defeat the purpose going to defeat the purpose. So we'll be there shortly. Once the onions are done, I'm going to add the onions and the garlic. 
to this mixed bowl of eggs and cabbage. We're almost there. Thank you ladies for being so patient and wanting to learn how to cook healthier for your body so you can start to feel better and look better. Your energy will thrive once you begin to release the toxins. You have good gut bacteria, good gut lining. You're going to start feeling amazing. You will start to feel and look amazing. And again, you just take time, give yourself time, don't beat yourself up. You know, everything takes time when you're starting a new journey on this health and wellness journey, this holistic journey to a better life for you and your family, hopefully, also. I'm stopping. These onions are looking gorgeous, they glaze. Okay, we're almost done squeezing out the cabbage water. Wow, it's a lot of water. You know, cabbage makes water on its own. You don't even have to. I remember eating cabbage as a kid and our parents uh, boiled it and it was really didn't need no water because it was too much water already in the cabbage. So, okay. So that's the end of that cabbage. I think I'm going to strain this and get the rest of what's left out of here. Just a little bit left. Okay. Not much. Okay. So that is that, and I will show you what that looks like in a moment. Should have added some, forgot to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic granules to give it more flavor as we add it to um, this batter. So, so far, that's what it looks like. You can't see the egg. Well, you can at the bottom. That's what it looks like so far. And so now, I think my um, onions are done enough, ready to for me to start. So now, let's go ahead and add the onions, the glazed onions, to the batter mix. Show you what those glazed onions look like. Look at how beautiful these are. Those are the glazed onions. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to add that to the cabbage batter, egg batter mix. And then um, I will add the parsley. Beautiful green parsley. Always want to have some type of green vegetable with our meals. And what better way to do it than to add it to these cabbage patties, right? always a way to squeeze in some type of green to our food so we can get some fiber in there as well okay so this is all of the glazed onions and garlic that I'm adding to the egg batter okay so let's now add the parsley the beautiful green parsley, fresh parsley. Okay, I don't want that raw 
onion in there because it's not glazed. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. So far, so good. All right, so now, uh, now is the, the last part before we stir up this greatness is we're gonna add three to four tablespoons of the flour, the chickpea flour. That's where it's going to stick together to make our patties, right? To make our patties, our cabbage patties. So we're gonna add that. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna add four, that's four tablespoons of chickpea flour. Now, let's do the fun part. We're going to stir it all up, all this little mixture, stir it all up. I will show you the end result once it's all mixed together. We're now mixing everything in with the egg, with the eggs. And this is all becoming a batter, right? knew that at this stage and day in our life that we would be making cabbage patties. I didn't. I love cabbage, but I never would have dreamed of making uh, cabbage patties, right? But it is, first time I made these, they were so good and so filling because we have protein in here, we have our greens in here, the parsley, we have our anti-inflammatories in here, our um, onions and our garlic. So that's what you want to think about when you are cooking your meals, right? You want to cook your, when you think, when you're cooking, you want to think about, do I have all the vitamins and the nutrients that I need, the minerals, what am I missing? You know, sometimes you might not need all of your vitamins, you know, depending on what your body um, is loaded with or, or not lacking or over lacking, you know, whatever. Whatever your body, um, you may have too much of, you may not need all these vitamins and minerals. But for the most part, most of us need all of these vitamins and these minerals, these nutrients that's within this food to feel better, to heal, start the healing process naturally, right? Okay, so this is what this batter looks like. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, make sure we have enough oil in our pot for our skillet for one, because this is the test. This is when it all begins. This is, just wanna make sure I got this all mixed up, um, you know, good enough. So, Nothing is not mixed together. We want everything to be mixed up beautifully, right? All right, so now I'm going to put this back on the fire and you wanna make sure you have enough oil in here so it's going to cook nicely and not, you know, not too dry. Just want enough, it's just like you're frying, right? You're frying. Um, okay, that should be enough. That should be enough oil for that. All right, so here we go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. This is the test, okay. And it normally should make about four to six, right? Four to six. So I'm just kind of like, you know, 
doing it as if I was doing like a, a cookie, making cookies, or if I was making some kind of hamburger patty or some kind of patty. So same, same concept, right? Concept, right? So you want to make them nice and even, you know, where they in one one place so they can cook, you know, on one side like they're supposed to. They want you want them browned on one on each side. So you can kind of tell when it's about ready to turn it over. But you you don't you want to monitor it because you certainly don't want it to be uh, burned. Well, Looks like, let's try to see how, yeah, they, they're, they're cooking nicely, nicely. So I can usually get four in my skillet right here, this particular skillet that I'm using. Okay. So, looks like, yeah, so this would make about, Look, four, six, I'm sorry, six. So that's cooking. And we're going to see what that looks like as it cooks. So while that's still cooking, I um, get my pan ready and I'm going to put some uh, parchment baking paper on where I store my patties, my cabbage patties. Because I want to drain the ju the, the um, oil. I want to drain the oil. Because when you cook these, they can become oily. And I don't want to eat all of that oil. <laughs> right? Even though it's olive oil, it's good. It's omega-3 is good for you know our health and has good quality for them, but I just don't want to taste the oil, right? I want to taste the cabbage patties as opposed to the oil, right? So I'm going to put some parchment paper on there. So when they are ready, I'm going to let them drain, drain the oil off of it um, so they don't taste so oily, right? So that's that. Now I'm going to see how they're doing. They're still cooking on one side. You want to make sure that you don't turn these over too fast, too soon, because if you do, then you won't have a patty. You won't have a cabbage patty, cabbage and onion patty, right? You're going to have more of a, a disaster. So we just want to make sure that they are cooking into a patty, right? They're almost there. Let's see. Let's see if you can see this. I'll bring you closer so you can see. Let's bring you closer. There we go. You see those? That's better. Now you can see those cooking. That's a whole, yeah, yeah, there we go. So you can see that cooking now. And we're going to test it and see what it's looking like underneath. They're almost brown. They're they're brown pretty much, but I feel like it's not time to turn them over yet. So I don't want to make them a mess where they're turned over too fast. And then they're not going to be a cabbage patty. They're going to be cabbage mixture, just cabbage mixture. So we want to make sure that uh, you don't turn them over prematurely. But they're almost there. They're almost there. <clears throat> so once they cook on one side, then we turn them over. So the cooking process probably is about, I would say, maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes. So once you, you know, do all the batter, the preparation, the preparation is what takes, it seemed like to me, a long time, right? So... I would say once you prep it, once you get all the mixture, everything is mixed in together, then when you cook it, it should take about 15 minutes, 
I, I would say. So I think it's time to turn those over. Yeah. Yes. It looks nicely. Okay, let's turn it over slowly so you don't get popped with the grease. It's a nice, beautiful brown. That's what you want. If it's a little dark brown, that's okay too. Just, you know. Turn it over nicely. Nicely. Hopefully you can see that. I think these may need to little cook them a little bit more on that side. These are some pretty big patties too. So think about this goodness. You're eating all of this nutrient dense one patty and you're gonna get the, all these vitamins and these nutrients inside, right? The minerals. Um, and that's what I get excited about when I cook because I'm thinking about the ingredients that's inside the meal that I'm preparing and it's gonna do your body some good. Right? It's going to give you the energy because oftentimes, you know, I'm so amazed sometimes, I, you know, go to bed with energy, I wake up with energy and it's all due to how I prepare my meals, my juices and my smoothies, right? And of course I exercise, you know, you want to exercise, you want to make sure you get your exercise in, you know, so you have to do a combination of things. You have to eat healthy. You have to drink healthy, you have to get your exercise in, whether you're just taking walks, and you have to think healthy, right? You want to have healthy thoughts. That's why my channel is all about the mind, body, and soul. Nourishing the mind, the body, and the soul. We have to nourish our minds with not only good food, but also good thoughts. And, you know, whether that's affirmations that we tell ourselves I'm beautiful, I'm bold, I'm brave, I'm brilliant, I'm smart, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, you know, all of these things matters. It's, it's, it's just like what we feed our bodies, that's what we become. So we feed our bodies healthy foods, then we become healthy, we feel healthy, we look good, we feel good, right? Same thing with our minds, whatever we tell ourselves, that's what we become. If it's positive, we become positive. If it's negative, we become negative, right? So we always want to think about and be careful about what we tell ourselves. Give ourselves self-love. It's all about self-love, lovely food, lovely life, right? All about that. So think about those things as you transition your life from the conventional way of thinking and living to the holistic way of living and eating, right? You are going to become that. And you might say, well, I'm 50 or 40 and 50 or 60, it's too late. No, it's never too late. Again, it's all about the mindset. If you think you're too old, you are, right? You think you're young enough, you are. You have a young spirit about yourself. So remember, it's all about the words that we tell ourselves. Do we want this for our life? Do we want this for our health? and our well-being, right? Um, I don't know about you, but I don't like pain and suffering and agony, you know? I've been there. I've been there. Um, it is not a pretty picture. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't look good, right? So I made the decision to transition from the sad diet, right? That's when I was younger. I've always been, you know, pretty much in a, a healthy state, but um, you know, I had a partial sad diet habit, right? And I had to change that, get rid of the sad diet, the standard, standard American diet, right? And because it doesn't do our bodies any good at all. Okay, so we're almost done with this process. And I want to pause for a moment and say, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so grateful that you're here. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, The Holistic Boss. You are going to learn a plethora of new things on how to take back control of your health and your well-being. You're going to learn how to make healthy juices, healthy smoothies, and healthy meals that's going to be chock full of vitamins and nutrients and minerals that your body so desperately need, crave, and want. 
and you are going to feel amazing, right? And if you have not hit the notification bell yet, you will be notified every time I upload a new video or some new content. So go ahead and hit the notification bell. And as well, share this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your circle of influencers, your women friends, your girlfriends, and th so they too can get in this community of holistic bosses. That's what we're all about. We are about staying healthy, getting healthy, staying healthy, sustaining great health for ourselves, our families, and the communities that which in which we live. So share this video. All right, beautiful? Okay, so I'm going to share this patty with you and show you what it's looking like because um, we want to make sure that it is scrumptious, good, yummy for the tummy, right? We want to share this is yummy for the tummy. And this one looks like it's the first one that's going to be ready. So once I taste this, then you will have an idea what it well, you won't have an idea what it tastes like, but I will have an idea what it tastes like. And um, I need to let that one cook a little more because when you know that they're done, the way that you know that they're done is it's not, you know, it's not going to fall apart right away, right? It's not going to fall apart because, again, this is a patty. It's just like you were cooking a turkey patty or hamburger patty or veggie patty or whatever kind of patty, uh, a bread patty. It, it doesn't fall apart if it's cooked properly, right? So here's one. I'm going to show you that. Um, see if you can see that. This is what a cabbage patty looks like, right? The finished product. You see that? Look at that. So right now I'm going to place it on the parchment paper and I'm going to let it soak just for a bit, you know, let it drain better, not soak, but drain um, from the grease. And you can take a, a paper towel and just pat it down right there. So that's what that looks like. So I'm putting the, I'm putting the rest of uh, the cabbage patty mix for the last batch. So this this particular batch made six patties, right? So again, depending on your palate, you can eat two of these like I do. You can eat three. Depends on how full you want to be, right? I'd like to be comfortable. I don't want to feel stuck. So when I'm comfortable, I stop eating. <laughs> I stop eating, right? Stop eating. You don't want to stuff yourself. It's so good. First time I made these, um, it was like, oh my goodness, I gotta keep eating. But I was full, so I couldn't keep eating, right? I was too full. I don't wanna be too full. We wanna just com be comfortable, and that's how we should do. Pull, our ways, pull ourselves away from the table when we get full, or when we are uh, comfortable, right? Okay, so now let's taste this one. It should be nice and ready to taste. And then I will let you guys, let you ladies have a good evening. So let's taste this. this. You can use this, eat this for dinner, breakfast, brunch, whatever you choose. So here we have it. I'm just putting it on. I'm being tacky, putting it on, on a paper towel. Um, but so Dear God, thank you so much for this cabbage patty. Thank you for giving me the creativity to create meals that are healthy and delicious to feed this body that you created in me. Let this be good. Let it nourish my body. Let it be tasty and yummy to my tummy. In your great name, I say thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okay, here is the test, ladies. Let's test this. It's kind of hot still. Let's see. Mm-mm-mm. 
it is finger licking good. I could have used a little more seasoning. As I told you, I like tasty food. It's good, but I need a little more seasoning. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. There you have it. And one step, once everything, once the oil drains off, my finished product will look like, so I have three, and these are good when you, when you heat them up the next day, these are good for the next day. So you want to heat them up in the oven. That's the best way to heat these on, you know, maybe 250. If you don't want to put it in a microwave, you want to, you can use like a, 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 a stove top, like a, a Dutch oven, sort of, or um, the stove oven. And that's what I do. I use the stove oven to heat these up, right? Because, okay, so, here is what the finishing product looks like. I'm gonna show you ladies what that looks like. So you will definitely have an idea. You know, the chef always has to have beauty in whatever it is that they're cooking, right? They wanna make sure that presentation is everything. Tasty, good is everything too. So, there we go. Look at that. It looks almost like pancakes, right? Mmm, 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 mmm. Now you know how to make cabbage patties, right? You can call them cabbage onion patties or just cabbage patties. I'll call them cabbage patties, all right? All right, beautiful. Thanks for staying with me this long. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to make cabbage patties. Until next time, this is Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist. Take care. Remember to stay whole, healthy, and happy. Bye-bye.